Aliens, we are closer every day to discovering the truth. Are we alone? While for almost certainly, there is life, even intelligent, for that one out there, on other planets, stars and galaxies, but they are many many light years away. Remember, one light year is 9 trillion kilometers, and there isn't a single star that is even 3 light years away from solar system. Currently, we just can't get even a probe out of our solar system. So then why look so far for aliens that might not be close on other stars when we have a pretty good signs of aliens right here in our solar system. Now what I'm talking about is microorganisms. Everything alive on earth probably didn't originate from earth, but rather it probably fell from a meteorite or a rock that hit the earth, since there are a lot of bacteria that can survive space travel. Maybe we are even Martian, we come from Mars, since there was a meteorite found in Antarctica that fell from Mars. It is one of the oldest Martian meteorites, 4 billion years old, around the time that it is speculated that life appeared on Earth. And look what was found in the meteorite, under the microscope. Stunning picture of a type of bacteria or microorganism that is not very familiar to us. And really, does this look like some kind of coincidence? It is clearly shaped like an organism, meaning this is life. There is good evidence suggesting that Mars had oceans, water, and where is water, there might be life. Fun fact, there still is a significant amount of water on Mars, so microorganisms that lived during the time of oceans, they could have survived and still are there on Mars right now. Actual aliens. And that's just Mars. There is Europa, moon of Jupiter, that is found to have an ocean underneath. Why there? Well, there's water, and because it is underneath the surface, it means that whatever is down there is protected from radiation or anything deadly of outer space. Plus, the temperature would be pretty good since water did not freeze, so it has very good conditions for life. Only one thing, there would not be light, but we have found organisms on Mariana Trench, the deepest spot in the ocean on Earth, and there is no light down there, so if life could survive there without any light, why wouldn't it survive in Europa? So yeah, Europa is one of our best bets for alien life in our solar system. Same would go for Enceladus, that has water geysers on its surface and even a thin atmosphere. It also has saltwater ocean underneath its surface. There's also Ganymede, which also has saltwater ocean, a magnetosphere which would protect life from radiation even on the surface and a thin atmosphere. Titan, moon of Saturn, which also has an ocean underneath and an atmosphere that is very thick thicker than an owner earth. There's even a Wikipedia article titled Life in Titan. The list just goes on and on. In total, there are 9 oceans in our solar system, meaning 9 chances for alien life in solar system. And if we don't find any life out there, that still isn't disappointing, because it would mean that life on earth is something special.